moving right along, let's go and meet the man of a thousand voices. At that particular time, I had four records that were all selling. We were all in the top ten, in actual fact, all under different names. Uh, there was uh, Love Grows Edison Lighthouse, which was number one. There was also a song called United We Stand, which was the original Brotherhood of Man. It was prior to Eurovision days. There was a song called My Baby Loves Loving, which was the White Plains. There was also uh, the Pipkins Give Me That Ding, which I'm very hesitant to talk about. <laughs> Uh, that's four, yes, that's the four that were in the charts at the same time. And I, I actually did three of them on one edition of Top of the Pops. That record's called United We Stand, and that's a group called the Brotherhood of Man. And one of the singers in the Brotherhood of Man, you'll also see in Edison Lighthouse, because in the first time, for, for that I know anyway, when the same singer's been in two different groups. Like, for real, you know, marvellous. You ain't got no money or clothes, a kind of funny a terrible downside to Tony's brief burst of fame. Love Grows was number one and I remember getting on the tube and uh, it seemed to me the entire carriage f filled with schoolgirls and they were all carrying copies of, of NME or whatever uh, which happened to have a fairly large picture of me in it and I was sitting in this this tube <laughs> with all these these schoolgirls looking at it, it's him it's not him it is him it's uh, going I got so embarrassed I can't I got off at the next uh, next station, I couldn't stay on the, on the, in the carriage. It was, it was, it was really wicked. So is Tony really a one-hit wonder? I think I'm probably the only one-hit wonder who did it five times. 